Good morning guys, yes, still afternoon, just, uh, still morning, just. I forgot to completely vlog yesterday. I went into the office, but I wanted to like vlog my outfit and like vlog when I'd come back. And I think I forgot to vlog or finish vlogging on Tuesday as well. Um, all I remember is, I don't even remember where I got up to vlogging, but I ended up getting a chicken kebab for dinner, which was really naughty. So today I have gone out and dropped a parcel. I did want to shoot, but it said it was going to rain like all day. Like there was supposed to be a storm and it's dry and it's not like too dark out. So I literally could have filmed my Halloween content. Well, shot and did filming with my Halloween content, but we'll do that tomorrow. Oi, don't be walking on mummy's card. So I'm just going to do that tomorrow anyway. It says it's going to rain, but I'm still going to do it regardless. Like... I'll find time when it's dry. I don't have much to update you on. Today is mine and Bernard's four year anniversary. So I'm just writing my card. I just wanted to show you guys my card before I forget and seal it up. We're gonna do like a little date night tonight. We're gonna go to a Turkish restaurant, one of like our fave places. And I think we actually did it for our anniversary last year. But you know, now we own a house and stuff, like gifts and stuff don't really matter. We're not really into any of that anymore. Although he normally gets me flowers, but Yesterday I came home and I had a delivery and it was letterbox flowers and I was thinking, oh my god, like he doesn't normally do that. Like he's got me flowers for my anniversary. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Anyways, I opened them up and it was from my sister's friend because I'd been giving her a lot of cat food. And I told her, don't do anything, like you don't need to get me anything, just you know, say thanks, that's fine. Like you're doing me a favour by taking it. But she got me some um bloom and wild flowers. So yeah, that was funny because I was like <laughs> thinking they were from Bernard, but they weren't. These two, I think, are a little bit bored, bless them. I'm going to feed them some lunch. But this is the card I've got him. Roses are red, violets are blue. The cat's my favourite, but you're okay too. I mean, you're both my favourite, so it's cats, plural. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to edit some vlogs this morning before I started work, and um, I managed to edit one and then start one, so that's better than nothing. So I will just vlog as and when I can. I'll take you guys along on date night. Um... I won't like vlog like too much. I'll just show you guys the food and stuff because obviously it's supposed to be like in the moment celebrating kind of thing. But yeah, I want to show you because the food's good. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I just finished my lunch, but I had the most randomest idea and I ordered two really, well, I say really creepy, scary masks off Amazon, but they're probably not to be fair. And I really want to make Sprout jump when she comes on the weekend, but it's gonna be like near enough impossible for me to do that unless I do it as she arrives and I go outside and like hide. But it's gonna be raining on the weekend. So I need her when she's coming. If she's coming super early, it might be good because it'd be quite like dark. But then at the same time, I need to record her reaction. I need to get her face. Like I don't know how the camera setup's gonna work. And if people, because if I do it where I'm gonna, know, there's other cars there. So I don't know if people are gonna come out of the house. <laughs> And I'm like trying to film and stuff. Yeah, and then I was thinking I can get Bernard with the masks as well. I just don't know <laughs> how I'm gonna do it at the moment. I need to plan it, but it'd be really good if I can make her jump because I haven't made her jump in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of like the last weekend I'm gonna see her. I will see her next Sunday, but we're going shopping. So it's not really like I can hide and make them jump. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just find it so funny because if you guys have been here for a long time, I did a Michael Myers one on her, but it was at my parents' house and it was in the garage, so it was really easy because I could set up two cameras. Um, and it was inside, like it didn't get matter about the weather and anything like that. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. Well, that's what I was doing. My lunch is just finished now, so back to work and then, yeah, I will speak to you guys in a bit. I've just received a package that I have no idea what it is. And it's from FedEx, so like I had no email, nothing. Like I don't know where it's coming from. I've obviously I've got collabs with companies, but one's coming from Royal Mail. But this one, kind of heavy in a little box. And I said, I don't even know what it is. He goes, I think it's something to do with Christmas. And I think, well, how would you know that? Like, how would you know? <laughs> There's no information on it. It just got like, it's come from China. I wonder if it's my bloom chic. Oh, okay. Maybe it is the Bloom Chic stuff. As I was saying, when you're coming in a box, it's a bit like, okay, yeah, it's Bloom Chic. I was like, I will try this on actually in this in this video because I don't have to do a YouTube video. I am doing a TikTok collab. So that would be fun. Okay, so I've got the first one on. I just want to say, I think I've picked up all of these dresses in a size large. My room is an absolute mess at the moment, so ignore that. This is what the first one is. It's a nice blue velvet dress. It's got elastic 
short or three quarter length sleeves, which is so much better than like having long ones. It's got a stretchy waistband and it is just like a long, I would say it is like a maxi dress because it's practically down to my ankles. But yeah, this is actually quite cute. Love the colour, I love the style. Like the neckline, I don't know if it is very me, but it's cute and it's nice and soft. Like it does feel well made, like it does feel decent quality because this is the first time I've ever tried Bloom Chic. So yeah, first one is successful. Guys, I am really confused right now. It's come with two belts. I don't think it's supposed to have two belts. Let's just use one, tie it up. This, I can already tell I'm gonna love. So cute. Oh my God, it's got pockets love this so it's a lovely like brushed cotton quite thin but still nice tartan dress it's got sleeves i just need to do the buttons up but again perfect length we've got an elasticated waist and then obviously you've got the two belts so i need to kind of look at what is what here but i like that it cinches me in and shows off my waist and then it just skims over so nicely what the hell Love this one, so, so cute, so wintry. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this one for sure. But yeah, again, it's really nicely like made, like decent quality. Okay, so far guys, this one, I obviously picked it up for Halloween, but the black, I will say, is looking quite see-through in the light. Not really practical wearing the bra with it, but this is actually cute. The only thing is, like I said, the black is quite sheer, but I really like the arms. Again, they're elastic elasticated. We've got like frilly sleeves. It's nice up top, probably looks a little bit big, but I think once I have a bra, I might fill it out a bit more. We've got stretchy shoulders, like a fake corset belt, which I can tighten. And I like the color blocking because it is quite different. Like it, the black on the sides kind of flatters your figure and like gives you that silly, silly, silhouette um but yeah definitely have to wear something underneath it does have pockets which is quite surprising not sure if it's sheer we've got sheared elastic at the back um but yeah i can just sort of see in the lights here like it's very very see-through but it isn't anything a petticoat or shorts cannot you know can't fix so overall very cute for halloween Probably a dress I could get a lot of use out of as well. Putting on the next one. I have picked up like some more practical pieces for me. So this will be like another like wintry. Ooh, we got pockets. Okay. This isn't bad. Not super flattering. Maybe here. It's like an olive green colour. Like thin knitted material is very nice. Well made again. Nice quality. Soft on the skin. Perfect arm length. Sheared, um, sheared elastic band waistband thing we've got the pockets but i'm not sure if that's where it's kind of let down a bit shapes like the bum quite nicely in a way like it shows you've got a bum and then it does have like a tiered point at the bottom like a a layer and again a great length good for winter my only thing is it's not shapely that much here so i think i would have to belt it but again practical could get a lot out could get a lot of use out of it comfy cash like i could wear this to work and be okay you know um but i definitely think i would get a belt like a thick black belt and belt it i think that's what i would do to give it a bit more shape okay this next piece i'm hoping is gonna be nice because again i picked up a different casual type piece that again should be really practical and i would hopefully <laughs> get a lot of use out of <laughs> actually this isn't that bad pockets again we've got the hood it's like a thin cotton dress elastic sleeves again which i love like i can't stress that enough especially like my mum my mum would love things like these because they actually stay on your arms rather than having to shorten them again it's not like giving you tons of shape but it's not supposed to be that kind of style dress where it cinches you in um so yeah it's nice and flowy it's like a midi length so yeah i get a lot of use out of this i don't know if it is a bit too like I feel like you'd have to wear it on warmer days. Like, I don't think you wear it like pure winter. Cute, comfy, casual piece. Like, I am liking it. Just throw on over, go like food shopping, cinema, like normal clothes shopping. Something like quick and easy to take on and off, you know? Cute. I could definitely rock this. Okay, we've got one more dress. No, it's not really practical, but you should try it on my sports bra, but I think it is a little bit on the sheer side with the black. Oh, this is gonna be cute. Okay, yeah, the green is a bit sheer at the bottom as well. That is cute though, like, 
sleeves are like a little bit baggy but you're nice and like covered we've got the green belt to break it up a bit cinch you in like it is stretchy you've got the pockets and then you've got like the green at the bottom but overall it is quite sheer but it feels like a nice like thin medium thickness yeah which is quite surprising so definitely wear shorts or tights or petticoats something underneath just for that extra security but once ironed styled dressed up that will look quite nice so that is cute and definitely like my colors guys definitely my colors <laughs> i'm getting ready bernard got to me some roses but my only problem is i've used all my vases haven't i Just playing a little game with babies where i use the towel and i put the stick under it and they love it but i'm gonna feed them he's got a mixed grill i've got a chicken sheesh obviously guys we've got the bread which he forgot and got some water. bernard's got the back lava i've got nearly a little ice cream guys he's matching me on purpose <laughs> good morning guys so i have done a little weekly food shop so i thought i would show you what i've got we do a little restock my fridge so i got some water and then I was, i'm in an r because i do really get thinking about buying fizzy drinks but they were two for seven pounds so i got myself some dr pepper and then i got bernard some Fanta, Odrant, right, and then I got pears because um, they were on offer and I was like running out, so I was like, oh my god, need to stop up. And then I got some more bar barbecue sauce because we were running out. I'm gonna cook curry this week, so I got some curry sauce. And then I saw this, which I haven't seen before. It's spicy chili bolognese. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll get that. Battery's gonna die, I love that. Got some bananas. I'm gonna do some chicken burgers, I think, for my lunch this week. And then I absolutely love the reductions sections in supermarkets, it's like my favorite bit. So I got margarita pizza for myself, and then I got Bernard two pepperoni pizzas. So they were only £1.56 and they were £3. Um, and then I got myself some like beef dripping potatoes. They were 250 reduced to 170. I only kind of pick up stuff that I can free. And then I got some buttermilk to make some more of the Irish soda bread. I got some garlic and herb dough balls to go with bolognese, I think. Some yogurts, because I love banana flavored yogurts and they're very hard to come by. So I got those, they're strawberry and banana. And then I picked these up for banana to try. They're two for six pounds. So. Last week I picked up like Asda's brands, I think, and it was chicken chow mein and red Thai curry. So I got him a different brand. They were two for six pound, the gym kitchen, Korean beef chili. And he said he prefers Thai green curry. So I was like, oh my God, they have that. So I'll get him that. And then I got him some pepperoni, because he's still obsessed. Some Billy Bear for me. Some chicken for the curry. Some apples and grapes. Broccoli because I'm gonna do cottage pie, but I'm not making cottage pie because my mum's already made that. So that's in the freezer. Strawberries, butter, and then just quickly before it dies, snacker jacks were on offer because I'm trying to get back into my healthy eating. Because the last month I have been slacking so bad, I've actually put on like a couple pounds. Um, Doritos because I love them. Crumpets for when Sprout comes for breakfast and just like spare. Forget for my lunch today. Coins because I'm obsessed. Some pinballs for Bernard, cakes just like for anyone as a spare, maybe sprout, and bagels. And that's all I got that came to £67. My budget was 60 so I didn't go like that much over. It was more the drinks, I guess, that made me go over. But I do get 10% discount in Asda, and um, I won a pound on their like Halloween game thing because um, for my American followers, like every store has an app, don't they? So I've got the Asda Reward app, and you build up um, like money in it. So There'll be star products where you might get like 10 p in your cash pot. You complete missions. So if you spend 100 pounds, you get a pound. And then if you spend like another 100, you get another pound. And it goes like two pounds. And I think if you complete all the missions, it's like five pounds. So yeah, it's quite good. Um, I'm saving up all the money for Christmas. So I've got a little bit in there at the moment. Yeah, that was my food shop. Didn't need to pick up much because I've got meatballs that I'm going to do. Got the cottage pie. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really need to clean the house. I think I need to do that more than anything. And then I might shoot some content. We have some parcels. I'm hoping this one's my buff bunny because then I'll be so excited. Cleaned the kitchen because 
it was playing on my mind and it was like filthy so yay it is guys <laughs> oh i'm so excited okay so the next one is what i expected it is boomba whoop so let's open that up god these are well cool so i've gone for like the push-up sticky insert so they're sticky on each side so they look like that and then that's what they look on the inside really super push up so i think you stick it to your top first and then you like hoist it up yeah, i'm gonna have my lunch now and then i will pick up the vlog in a bit okay just a little update for you guys i've got an amazon parcel that i need to unbox with you guys but i'm currently shooting my fashion nova halloween outfit so i've already done two so this is the last one love this like this jumpsuit i would wear cash if it was a bit more like i don't know but i would wear this cash i've got a little tail what i'm currently doing and then i'm gonna have a nice little bath i think so yeah i haven't got much to update you guys on i do have an amazon parcel that i will unbox with you guys because it's so funny guys i totally forgot to give you a little buff bunny review the top fits perfectly i got an extra large because they put two eggs in my basket and it sold out while i was checking out so i got an extra large and i was kind of worried that it's going to be like quite tight it's not it actually fits really nice it's so gorgeous like i'm actually obsessed it gives a good amount of cleavage it's got removable padding it's got like stretchy straps quite snug but still a bit straight back is crisscross they are adjustable but i did get the leggings in an extra large because i got two xl in the rebel leggings and i can't remember what the other ones were called but these are so tight like it's pushing out on my fat it does roll down because of my fat they're like super snug they're still stretchy they're not sheer at all they're only a tiny bit long so yeah they're not sheer but they are snug, we've got no front seam, show you guys the back, we've got like the classic V back and yeah they're not like <laughs> see through so they're going to be fine but still it is a little bit annoying that I size down thinking they're going to be super stretched like my other ones and they're not but like I'm actually obsessed with this set like it is so nice when it hits like lighting. I am just opening my Amazon package because you guys know I want to make sprout jump and then I've got two masks, I wanted to get two because I wasn't sure can I really put that on? Oh, it stinks. What do I look like? <laughs> it's not going very well. Is that scary? I don't know if that's scary enough to scare Sprout. Okay, so we've got that one. This is like bad as my friend. <laughs> it's so hard to see. Is that gonna creep sprout out like realistically? Can't fucking see anything. I don't know guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh she's gonna kill me. Oh my god, the hair's going all on the floor. Um but yeah, I kind of wanted to have a bath, but now the babies are awake, so I think I'm just gonna edit some videos and yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm. 